What's up guys, Eric here. Welcome to Rant and Review. In this video, we're going to be talking about Arrow Season 5 episode titled Human Target. So careful for spoilers if you're not caught up with Arrow this season. You've been warned. Let's go ahead and get into it. Now the first thing I want to talk about is the finale of Olicity. Olicity looks like it's over. Now from a viewer standpoint, we kind of, I mean, in my opinion, I felt like it was over already. But I guess uh, it wasn't official between the two of them because Oliver confronts Felicity about her dating Detective Malone. And he seems like he's blindsided by all of this. I don't know if he was holding out for their relationship to get back together. I'm not sure. I do find it strange that Felicity broke up with Oliver or from, you know, from our perspective, she broke up with Oliver uh, because he was lying to her and then she was lying to him. Because when it comes to a relationship, let's just be honest about this. If you don't tell the person that you're with or somebody that you're supposedly dating something like this going on behind the scenes, not telling them is essentially the same as lying. I mean, she was sleeping with this guy. She was having a relationship with this guy. So from Oliver's standpoint, he's done. So I think it's uh, I think it's safe to say that Elicity is over. I read a little bit about this before I saw the episode because uh, while I was on vacation, I was reading some print news and I mean, I couldn't avoid this. This seemed to be the big thing that Elicity was done, but I hadn't seen it. Uh, now, after watching the episode, it really makes sense to me. I feel for Oliver. I understand where he's coming from. And, you know, Felicity is really being painted in a bad light. So, so if you're a fan of Felicity, this is not her season. <laughs> This is really not her season. I mean, she's dealing with the stuff uh, with Ragman and uh, the missile situation, and now she's dealing with this stuff she's doing to Oliver. So I don't know if there's going to be a redemption arc for Felicity or if she's going to wear this scarlet letter, you know, throughout the entire season. Uh, but Elicity is over, so if you didn't like Elicity, I guess this was a great episode for you. I think it was a standout moment. A lot of us wondered what was going to happen because there were rumors of this being a heavy Elicity episode, and uh, yeah, so that's what we got. Let's talk about Tobias Church really quick. Now, you guys know if you watch my rant reviews, I'm not a huge fan of Tobias Church. He's not my favorite character, right? I think of him as just a regular street-level uh, drug trafficker. And that's all he ever was to me. So it was kind of funny that he was ever considered a real threat for Oliver Queen. And of course, uh, he got, you know, uh, intimidated by Prometheus who said, hey, look, you know, I want to kill the Green Arrow. You can't kill the Green Arrow, yada, yada, yada. Um, and then last week he kidnapped Wild Dog, which we saw the continuation of that this week. And we'll talk about Wild Dog here in a second. Uh, but Tobias Church... Um, he was killed off by Prometheus by a projectile attack, which is essentially something that Oliver could have done to him at any point in time. I don't know why it hadn't happened yet. He had opportunities, but he didn't do it. Anyway, Prometheus did it for him. One thing about Prometheus that I'm really confused about is why is he hesitating to go after Oliver Queen? Now, I know this week it's a big Prometheus episode, so hopefully we get more information on his motives and why he's doing it. I see, I'm still under the impression that he is Tommy Merlin, okay? I know a lot of people are, are tossing names around, but honestly, the only logical choice for this character would be Tommy Merlin. Otherwise, I don't think it really makes much sense, um, unless it's really, like it's a real deep cut from season one. Uh, a character that we never met, that's like a relative of somebody that Oliver killed. I mean, that's really the only thing I can think of. Uh, but Tommy Merlin, Dark Archer from the comics, I'm going to try and find a picture and throw it up here for you guys. With the, excep the exception of the mask and the hood, his costume is very similar. I don't think it's Malcolm. Malcolm Merlin's going to be over on Legends of Tomorrow, so I don't think it's going to be him. Uh, being Tommy Merlin is really the only person that makes sense to me. That's why I haven't made like a full-blown Prometheus video like a lot of other people. I just feel like it's pretty obvious. And if it's not him, then it's going to be somebody that we, we, you know, that we would have never guessed at this point. Uh, so Tobias Church is gone. Good riddance. He was never really a threat to me. The fact that he was able to even fight against Oliver was laughable. We didn't really know much about him. And even after getting some backstory this week, yeah, I still feel the same way about him. Uh, good riddance by Tobias. Um, yeah, we're not going to miss you. <laughs> so let's talk about Wild Dog real quick. Um, first of all, he got kidnapped and surprise, surprise, he reveals to Tobias Church uh, uh, Green Arrow's secret identity of Oliver Queen, which he could not have done had Felicity not convinced Oliver to tell them these uh, secrets. <laughs> so I think it's kind of odd. You know, it's like it came back to bite him in the ass here. And, and I'm not really surprised. Wild Dog is literally the worst. And uh, Diggle's back and he's taking Wild Dog under his wing. 
Um, you know, sort of like a big brother, little brother thing. I think it's a better fit for Wild Dog, but let's be honest, Diggle's relationship with taking his little brother under his wing as being, you know, an unstable, unpredictable, <laughs> untrustworthy person, that didn't turn out too well for Diggle's brother. So I don't see it being something, you know, maybe Diggle's going to try and redeem himself with Wild Dog here, but he tried really hard with Andy and it still ended up being, you know, turning out that he killed his brother. So I don't know. I don't see how this is going to work out for Wild Dog. I still don't like Wild Dog. There are some YouTubers here that love Wild Dog and think he's the best thing on the show. I disagree. I think Ragman is the best thing on the show. He's a secondary character that has no reason to be secondary. He can survive explosions. He can take bullets to the face. Uh, if he was trained a little bit more by Oliver Queen, he would literally be the strongest character on possibly multiple CWDC shows. So it's kind of interesting to see him as a side character, but we're going to see where that goes. And I want to wrap this up by talking about um, the human target thing and the Bratva thing. I, f I still feel like the Bratva thing, even though it's not necessarily a bad side story, it's way too closely aligned with the story we're watching on the show. Like, what are the chances of Diggle calling his friend, who happens to be this decoy character, uh, Christopher Chance, human target, and that being someone that Oliver encountered with the Bratva? I mean, it's just way too coincidental for me. And I don't like that kind of storytelling. It's like side-by-side -side stories that are they're basically telling us the same story. And I don't know why. Uh, not to mention the special effects with when he pulls his mask off and he tosses it to Felicity. Um, it looks really bad. <laughs> I kind of wish they wouldn't have done that. Uh, oh, and let's talk about the Scimitar guy, the guy that was like a Deathstroke knockoff character. Uh, I wanted to know more about him. I thought he was pretty cool. Why was he a side character? Why was he a lackey to Tobias Church? He was much cooler than Tobias Church. Uh, but everything I see as far as like his credits, IMDB and everywhere, they're listing him as Scimitar. Now, I don't know any DC character with that name. Again, in, let me know down in the comments if you guys know who that character is. Uh, there's a Marvel character named Scimitar. Uh, several versions of that over at Marvel, but no DC characters. So I'm a little bit lost. He was basically just like a Deathstroke, a discount Deathstroke, <laughs> like a Deathstroke uh, ripoff, uh, Deathstroke light, if you will call it that. I mean, and he was taken out so easily. It's like you introduce it as this, this character who looks really interesting, could have been a really cool villain, you know, <laughs> you just take care of him in, in one episode. So um, I'm going to say overall, it wasn't a bad episode. I still feel like uh, the moments this week, the shining moments this week, did not necessarily impress me as much as they have in the past. I think Arrow's still solid in the sense that I, I see where they're going with everything, but I don't know if this episode was the knockout episode. I'm really excited about this week's episode because we're going to learn more about Prometheus. So hopefully, you know, that makes up for the lackluster events of this episode. So I'm going to give this episode, um, I was going to say 6.5. I'm going to do a 7 out of 10 on this episode. 7 out of 10. I think there was a lot of really good moments, uh, but there was still some stuff that bogged down the narrative. The moments between Diggle and Wild Dog went on a little bit too much. The Bratfus stuff, I'm still not feeling it. I know some of you guys are, but I'm not personally. I did love that Felicity and the Elicity thing is kind of being handled. I don't think we've seen the last of it. Um, and uh, Tobias Church, finally gone. So that's a plus. I gave some extra points for that because I really didn't like him. He was a totally underused character with no development. And I blame that on the writers of the show. They could have done more with his character. But anyway, do you guys agree or disagree with anything I talked about in this video? Let me know in the comments below. What was your favorite moments from this week's episode? What did you hate from this week's episode? And how do you feel about Elicity finally being over or officially over, unofficially over? I don't know. It seems like it's over to me. <laughs> Let me know in the comments what you guys think about that. And who do you think Prometheus is? I want to talk about that as well. Anyway, we are wrapping up my videos. I should be caught up pretty soon with all my rant and reviews. Uh, so anyway, don't forget to like, share. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe and make videos like this all week long, all month long about the TV shows and movies we love or love to nitpick. <laughs> There's going to be some clicky stuff on the screen now. Click it, please, and help support my channel. I really appreciate all the support you guys give me. That's it. Take care. Have a great day. Have a great week, and I will chat with you guys later.